Hello everybody, I'm Braden from EG4, and today we're going to be talking about our newly released product, the EG4 Charge Verter. It is a 5000 watt maximum 48 volt DC output battery charger with a 240 volt AC input. It also has adjustable amperage so that you can perfectly pair it with your generator. It's optimized for lithium iron phosphate battery charging so you don't have to do any in-depth programming. And it also comes with some battery connection cables and a twist lock AC input plug so you can run the unit right out of the box. We designed this product to solve most of the issues that off-grid systems will face when using a generator. The average whole house off-grid system uses at least a 12 kilowatt inverter. When you connect a generator, it passes that AC power straight through to loads by disconnecting the inverter module. The inverter will then load the generator with the fixed charge amperage that you've set for charging the batteries, and the generator will then have to power both the house loads and the battery loads concurrently. Let's say that a house uses between 1 and 12 kilowatts of power, and that the inverter is rated for 100 amp charge current to the batteries, or about 5500 watts from AC input. You can see that the generator is loaded for 17 kilowatts of potential power. The mistake that people make in a situation like this is to assume that they'll be using less power when charging their batteries from a generator, but that exposes your generator and your inverter to voltage collapse like so. This is the leading cause of inverter failure and it is not covered by warranty. Now let's talk about generators powering a house. There are several key factors that we need to keep in mind when thinking about generators. They tend to perform optimally in terms of sine wave quality and fuel usage at around the 50 to 75% load mark. Their power is not clean, even at its best, and generators will run into timing issues as the frequency shifts faster or slower due to mechanical wear. To properly size a generator for this situation, you would need at least 22 kilowatts, which could cost around $6,000 or more just for the parts. Plus, you'll end up facing the reality of sending dirty power through to your house, which adversely affects the life of your appliances. It's also a rather fuel inefficient system as your generator will be running below 50% during most of its uptime. Here we have a sizable battery bank with a commonly undersized 7 kilowatt generator situation. With the EG4 charge verter, you're able to set an amperage that will be best suited for your generator's health and efficiency. This unit will enable you to aid your solar system without the risk and adverse effects of a generator's direct input. When adjusting the settings on your EG4 charge verter, you can select the voltage that you need for your battery charging as necessary, or you can adjust the current by going down to current, pressing enter, and adjusting the value as needed. We're going to set the current to 66 amps. You want to change this value to whatever best suits your generator. And keep in mind that this is the output current to the batteries and not the current that the generator is going to push. So here we turn it on and we can see that it is pushing about 66 amps. There's going to be a little margin of error uh, between the clamp meter and the unit itself. When adjusting the current output of your charge verter, you want to make sure that the breaker is off, that you go into the current settings again, and adjust it to whatever value that you desire. I'm going to adjust the current down to 50 amps so that we can see what that outputs. Now that I have 50 amp current selected, turning on the breaker, we have 50 amps charging the batteries, Again, a little margin of error due to the clamp meter and the charge verter unit. The EG4 charge verter completely changes the rules here, guys. With this $400 device, you can hook up any size generator you have, which you may already own, from 3000 watts up directly to your battery bank without having to use your inverter. This ensures that you have no dirty power being sent to your loads and that your fuel efficiency can stay maximized. Thank you for watching. I'm Braden, and stay tuned for more from EG4.